All right, got something to show you that the liberal SJW Jesuitical media won't want to show you. And it's a simple fact that Christians over in uh, Egypt, pretty much over in the Islamic world in general, are being persecuted despite supposedly being granted some freedoms. Uh, basically, essentially, Egypt uh, used to be historically a very Christian-based country, but then, of course, the Muslims showed up and had to crash the party. Um, the uh, basically the Mohammedans—that'd that, be a more accurate term because they they worship Muhammad pretty much. Uh, you can blaspheme against Muhammad, which you know almost makes him divine, really. But a bit of a side issue. But this was on bare naked Islam. Says Egypt, once a Christian country, now prosecutes members of its Christian population for blasphemy against Islam, continuing arrests of Egyptian Christians and Muslims as well, accused of, ins of insulting Islam, have sparked a debate about blasphemy and renewed calls to abolish the crime from Egyptian law. Despite calls for reform, lawsuits that infringe on freedom of expression are still being pursued under the concept of Hezbollah, an Islamic doctrine involving the promotion of virtue and prevention of vice. Well, if, uh, Blasphemy against Islam is uh, vice in Islam. Well, I guess I'm I guess I'm guilty of that because you know Islam is a false religion, and Elijah mocked the prophets of Baal in First Kings 18 verse 25. So I mean, uh, it's not unscriptural to mock and, and I guess or they would put it blaspheme Islam. But of course. Uh, they don't go by the Bible, they go by their blasphemous Quran, essentially. But it says here on the article, uh, In recent years, Egypt has witnessed a return to Hezbollah laws, which are a threat to freedom of opinion, expression and thought, belief, and human rights. Said a statement by the Egyptian Organization for Human Rights, Hezbollah, meaning accountability, an Islamic doctrine involving the ruler or government's duty to promote what is right and prevent wrong. Uh, journalist Fati uh, Fatima Nayat, hope, hope, hope I'm saying that right, was accused of contempt for Islam and mocking Islamic uh, idea sacrifices ritual, because it is their sacrifice rituals. Uh, and she had described the annual Islamic holiday of sacrifice, Eid al Hadda, in October 2014, uh, in October 2014 as, quote, a massacre committed because of the startling nightmare of one of the righteous ones had about his son, unquote, in reference to the story of Abraham in the Quran. It says that uh, Mohammed, uh, Mohammed uh, Othman, I guess I could say it, a legal scholar at the Institution for Freedom of Thought and Expression, said his laws are based on Article 3 of the Code of Procedure, which allows anyone to file a lawsuit against any creative work by an artist, writer, or public figure as long as the plaintiff has an interest in it. Also, the lawsuit must be aimed at avoiding imminent damage or at documenting evidence. Such lawsuits are submitted to the public pro uh, prosecutor who determines their merit. So essentially it's like a whole, almost like a blackmail type of campaign. If they find some kind of comment you made on Facebook that they would deem as blasphemy against Islam and their false prophet Muhammad, well, they're gonna basically report you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how, that's pretty much life if you're a Christian in any of these, these uh, Islamic countries. It says that uh, Othman told Al, Mon Al Monitor that his lawsuits violate the Egyptian constitution and says, quote, which says freedom of thought and opinion is guaranteed every person has the right to express his opinion verbally in writing though though uh, through imagery or by any other means of expression and publication unquote. the constitution also states freedom of artistic and literary creativity is guaranteed the state shall encourage arts and literature sponsor creative artists and, ri and writers and protect their productions no lawsuit may be initiated or filed to stop or confiscate confiscate any artwork uh, artistic literary or intellectual work well, yeah, that's just the whole thing. You know, the Muslims, uh, they'll have a constitution in their nations, but, you know, they can just violate it any time they want. It really means nothing. You know, it's, it's similar to how in a lot of these liberal secular democracies like France, they'll give lip service to free speech, but if it's speech they don't agree with, well, you get the boot, pretty much. They'll, they'll come down on you like a ton of bricks. But uh, continuing on, it says uh, the Supreme Court, or, sorry, the Supreme State Security Prosecution investigated two Christians, Ayman Rida Hanna and Manur Masad Hanna, and referred to them referred them to criminal court on the grounds of mocking Islam and insulting religion. Amr Al Qadi, Qadi, what do we say? I, I'm not good at pronouncing some of these Muslim names, so just bear with me. One of the team of attorneys for the two defendants told Al Monitor. Molotov, whatever, uh, about the case. He said security forces arrested them in June of 2019 after they appealed in a video discuss after they appeared in a video discussing prayer in Islam. He said he added the uh, two men remained in pre-trial detention until the prosecution charged them, despite our repeated calls to release them. In another incident, a Christian teacher and a Muslim girl were arrested on November 11th in the coastal 
Isma Ilya, government over comments on Facebook posts that security forces described as insult and contempt of religion. The next day, November 12th, the public uh, prosecution ordered the arrest of a teacher identified as Yusuf Hani and a girl who goes by the name Sendosa on Facebook on charges of blasphemy. Now, when they talk about uh, contempt of religion, see, if a Christian says something about Islam, then, you know, obviously he gets the boot. He gets the, the, the they come down in like a ton of bricks. But there could be a Muslim who would say, like, I'm, I'm guarantee you, there could be a Muslim who would say something about, you know, about the Bible or, or, or say that, you know, because the Quran itself curses Christians for believing that Jesus Christ is God's son. Well, they, they could say something like that. And, well, that's apparently, that wouldn't be contempt for religion because, well, there's a pro-Islamic bias there. You know, all this is just more proof of the fact that uh, Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12, you know, what does it say about Ishmael, a wild man? So I, well, I guess the angel of the Lord would be an Islamophobe or something like that, bunch of garbage, but he's a wild man. And also the Muslims are his spiritual descendants. So I, I would expect them to act like that. You can, you can say it's hate speech and Islamophobia all you want. That's just the, the fact of the matter. And this, and what goes on in the Islamic world proves that. So anyway, don't be deceived. Islam is of the devil, plain and simple. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.